Hi, I'm Kent Murdick, and uh, <clears throat> I've written a, a book called uh, Playing uh, Swing Guitar in the Big Band, and this is uh, essentially uh, movies from the, uh, or whiteboard movies uh, from this book. And we're going to teach you how to play uh, straight rhythm, just like Freddie Green did in uh, Count Basie's uh, fabulous uh, big band. Uh, there are five principles for playing straight rhythm in a swing rhythm section. Uh, the four note chords, we're going to be playing four note chords in the beginning, <clears throat> are played on the sixth, fourth, third, and second strings with the fifth and first, and that's an air, a typo there, first strings dampened. So the fifth and first strings are going to be dampened always, and all chords are movable. The performing range of these chords extends from the third to the tenth frets. Large jumps between the chords in the beginning are going to be avoided. Eventually we'll have to, we'll never have to move more than two frets if you don't want to, but sometimes you will want to actually. You'll like to get a little bit melodic with the, your rhythm guitar. Uh, straight rhythm is played with all down strokes, four strokes per measure and four four. And each chord is cut off by releasing the fingers as shown below in figure one. So when we play this finger, figure one, it's going to sound like bump, 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 bump. bump bump, just chop, chop, chop. And in figure two is sometimes used for slower ballads, and this sounds like ba-dump, 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 ba-dump. For the most part, you will play only one or two chords per measure. When the score indicates otherwise, the score will be changed to fit this pattern. So you'll have to learn a little bit about theory to figure out how to change some of these measures that will have four chords in, you know, a chord on each beat. The purpose of these five principles is to make the guitar as melodically and rhythmically unobtrusive as possible, so it will blend in with the walking bass, thus making the bass and the guitar sound like one instrument. If done correctly, a beautiful rhythmic groove will be created that will allow the pianist optimal rhythmic freedom to play as comp. Okay, in the, in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you some fingerings and then. Uh, uh, the chord progressions you're going to play, and I'll play some chord progressions for you so you can hear how they're going to sound. So some of these videos will actually have playing in them, won't be all instruction.